In this question, we're asked to determine which of each of these pairs, which element would be the more difficult one, have the highest uh, ionization energy. So which of these two, chlorine or argon, would be more difficult to take an electron away from? Chlorine and argon, if you look on the periodic table, are on the same row. Argon is to the right of chlorine. As I told you in the past, as I go across a row from left to right, elements get smaller and smaller and smaller, and the reason is because they have more protons in their nuclei. So argon is going to be smaller than chlorine, and we can sort of draw an imaginary circle. There's argon and there's chlorine, uh, because argon has one more proton than chlorine does. Which one of these two elements is going to be more difficult to remove an electron from? It's going to be argon, because its electron is closer to the protons in the nucleus. Therefore, argon is going to have the higher first ionization energy, whereas uh, chlorine is going to have the smaller. Uh, let's skip down to the easier of these two, tin versus tellurium. Tin is uh, element number 50 on the periodic table, while tellurium is 52. Tin is another one of those elements whose e name in English, at least, doesn't match its elemental symbol very well. The way I remember that tin has an elemental symbol of Sn is I just like to remember tin snips. Snips. Tin and uh, tellurium, just like chlorine and argon, are in the same row and tellurium is to the right. For the same reasons that I argued uh, between chlorine and argon, tin is also going to have the smaller uh, first ionization energy. It has fewer protons in its nucleus. Same exact row. Tellurium is going to be uh, tinier and therefore harder or more difficult to remove an electron from. Now we'll compare titanium versus barium. Titanium is element number 22 on the periodic table, whereas barium is number 56. Uh, yeah, 56. Barium and titanium are not in the same row. Not, not only are they not in the same row, they're not even in the same column of the periodic table. Uh, however, barium is, I think, one, two, it's two rows further down than titanium. If you look at barium's electron configuration, for example, it has an electron configuration of xenon, what, 6s2, whereas titanium is argon, 4s2, 3d2. Here's the point. Taking an electron from titanium, you're taking an electron from a 4s orbital. Taking an electron from barium, you're taking it from a 6s orbital. A 6s is way larger than a 4s. Way easier to remove an electron, like cutting a toenail from 50 miles away, out of a 6s orbital than a 4s orbital. And, and that goes back to what I taught you in the past, that the, uh, the size of an element increases as you go down a column on the periodic table. Even though these are in different columns, this one is way further down than titanium. Therefore, it's much easier to remove this electron, so this element, barium, is going to have the smaller first ionization energy.